time staying busy as champion, Alex. I guess uh, talk to me about you know this pace that we don't normally see champions keep. Yeah, man, it's a uh, yeah. I said it all year that I wanted to be active. You know, it was a uh, I wasn't able to do that the previous years, obviously. So uh, it's good, man. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not getting any younger, so yeah, I want to make as much money while I can. So it's pretty pretty simple, and uh, you know, when you talk about legacy and and all that type of stuff. You need to be busy, you know what I mean? So uh, I don't know how much uh, time i got left. Obviously, I feel like I've got another seven years, but, you know, uh, I just want to get work, make that money, get paid. And what was it about Baxter you were so willing to do this, right? I mean, at 2-0, and you could easily see, like, hey, man, sorry, you had your chance. But all along, you said, no, he's putting in work. Let's do it again. So why were you so open to this? Oh, man, it's just uh, it's the biggest fight I can do right now. You know, everyone wants to see it, right? And that's that's it, you know what I mean? Like, uh, And that that's what it is. He was a... Uh, you know, obviously, uh, or, or I'll give him credit. You know, he was stubborn. He goes, ain't no one taking that number one contender spot from me. That's that's what he did. He stood there and took out all the guys and didn't let the, them have a shot at me. So now he gets a shot. Good on him. You know, that's exactly what I would do in the same situation. So uh, and now he's uh, obviously getting credited with a, a, th a third chance. So uh, he, he's done his uh, what he was meant to do. So good on him. Talk about your preparation for this, right? I mean, you are 2-0 and against him, right? So, I mean, do you, do you feel there's a need to make adjustments in the lead-up? Or is it like, hey, no, we, we've been in there for 10 rounds. We know what this guy has. We know the riddle. Oh, there's always going to be adjustments. I don't think I need to change, like, uh, too much, right? Yeah, that's there we go. Cheers. Good lad. Now it's, now it's proper. There we go. Can we start a little questions again? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man, I think, uh, obviously, you need a, there's going to be different strategies, uh, you know, and how we approach it. There's going to be uh, things that we want to know what he's going to do, but at the same time, you know, my style and, and where I'm at right now uh, will will definitely uh, be enough to, to to deal with whatever challenges come forward. But I'm expecting Max to maybe even switch things up. Um, I'm still expecting that chess match and strategy and all that type type of stuff. So um, I need to be on, and uh, I will be on uh, fight night. Are you expecting more? Desperation might be the wrong word, but like aggression. I mean, like he knows, like this is it. Yes, he worked back here, but it's probably not going to happen again. So, are you expecting that out of him? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I think he's uh, going to still fight the fight he has to fight to try and win. Uh, he knows it's not going to be an easy task. So, uh, you know, he'll he'll definitely uh, you know try and find uh, the right way to win. But uh, at the same time, he's a gamer, man. So you know he's going to bring it. That's a part of his style. You know, he wants to overwhelm people with uh, mentally and physically. He wants to get get in your head and come forward. So. You know, that's always going to be a part of his strategy. You know, I don't think he's going to sit back and, and wait or anything like that. So, um, you know, I, I think he, he, he will have uh, some things and some strategies going into this, but we're going to probably see the same Max. He's going to come forward and want to put hands on me, and, and I ain't going to bat, you know, you won't see a backward step from me. So it's going to make for a fun fight, uh, a chess match, very exciting, high pace, and let's do it. Love it. Last thing for me. Uh, you know, obviously you focus on Saturday, but, you know, get the win here. Is, is the work done at 145? Or is there more work to be done? Or is it time to start looking at, you know, other options? Oh, man, the work's not done. You know, I've, we've got a stacked division. Like, we've got a lot of people uh, coming. Maybe uh, maybe we have to, f you know, sit and wait a little bit. And that's why you always got other options too. You know, wherever, uh, wherever there's a double champ or whatever it is, you know, big fights that, you know, because, again, I don't want to just give people a, a title shot for the sake of it. If there's injuries and someone has to replace, all right, it makes sense. But then just giving someone that's ranked further down for no reason, you know, I feel like a, you need to take that number one spot, like Max did, um, and then you, you'll get that shot. You know, it's been pretty clear from day one. Uh, but it, my work's definitely not done at featherweight. You know, you've got a bunch of killers uh, coming through, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, you've got Josh Emmett who just come off a, uh, a fight. You know, your Caters, your Year Rodriguez are fighting uh, Ortega. So that's, that's going to be big. Arnold Allens. Um, you know, but there's plenty of guys. There's plenty of uh, killers coming through. They're just not there yet. But I mean, you know, while I'm keeping busy with with this, you know, it, it, we, you know, who knows? In a couple of months, we might have a, a clear clear guy that everyone wants to see. So I'll be I'll be keen to bring that on. But you know, we'll see what op options are after this fight. Alex, oh, right here. Um, yeah. I'm curious. What's your level of concern of Max Holloway's power going into these fights? How much of a focus do you put on that in camp? Power. Well. Look, you know, let's be real, he's more of a volume uh, fighter, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, I don't think uh, power is something, like, obviously, technique and all that is, uh, and speed and all, all that's good, like, obviously, you can, uh, yeah, that's something that I'm not too worried about, you know, I'm a pretty powerful dude, uh, obviously, uh, he started off strong in that last one, so, you know, I'm going to have to not let him start off strong this time, and uh, not let him land uh, these types of shots, but at the same time, 
you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm ready for for whatever comes. But I mean, you know, I don't think power is a real a real issue. I think it's a that volume, that pace he's going to bring, is always going to be something that you need. And that that chess match that we're going to have, that's something that I obviously got my my eye on, not the power. And on the flip side, I th he has the most fights ever in UFC history without ever being knocked down. Mm -hmm. I think it's 26. Um, is that something you've thought about wanting to accomplish? And I guess what would it mean for you to end that streak? Man, like that, that'd be incredible, right? Like if you could sit there, it's a legendary chin that, that he has, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's incredible. You know, I've always said that you don't want to be known for your, your granite chin, uh, but at the same time, uh, it is legendary at the moment. And for me, if I could uh, take that chin and, and put him out, you know, that really is setting a statement because no one's done that. And, um, but again, like, you know, he obviously takes damage. I have touched on the fact that, you know, can't hold up forever. But let's see if it holds up uh, this far. Because I know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna land. I'm gonna land big. I'm gonna be uh, definitely uh, coming forward and, and landing some big shots. So let's see if that uh, legendary chin uh, holds up. And I know you've been asked a million times about, do you feel you get the respect you deserve and all this stuff? But you're on such a remarkable winning streak right now, both overall in MMA and in the UFC. Do you think? media fans talk about this run that you're on enough in terms of the consecutive victories oh yeah yeah they do yeah definitely you know what i mean it's uh obviously uh, over the last uh, last couple as well like you, you've definitely uh, seen uh, everyone's a change change of tone you know especially after ortega you know people really got to see uh, something that you know you don't really get to see uh, too often like when you look at a uh, you know, people want to know like what's that what's volk about you know what i mean uh, and then you know that was a good showing like you know that I always say about that never give up attitude, that never die attitude, like, uh, you know, that that next level type of uh, resilience, you know, was really uh, was really seen on that on that night, you know, and I think there were a lot of people uh, grew respect there and obviously after the last performance, uh, you know, pe people really jumped on board, but um, yeah, man, it's definitely, uh, definitely, definitely all good. And you've only tasted defeat once. Do you remember? One thing, sorry, with, with the, the records and all that, I know it's yeah. incredible, but I don't really, you know, people ask me about the, the records and, you know, 21 fight win streak uh, and all that. I really don't, you know, I just go by each performance, man. That's just how I am. Like, I just look at that next task. People, you know, I just don't, you know, uh, it's all about, I don't, people, yeah, I was asked, you know, are you worried about losing that streak? Yeah, no, I don't care about the, losing the streak. I care about losing. You know what I mean? I don't want to lose, plain and simple. You know, I'm a competitor, so I don't really care too much about, about that. So if people talk about it or not, it doesn't matter. But obviously, it's pretty impressive. Uh, so we'll get uh, touched on here and there, but I don't look too much into it. Yeah, and it's only been the one loss. Do you remember what it feels like to taste defeat and how much does that resonate you and motivate you uh, in each fight? Yeah, yeah, you're always going to remember. You know what I mean? There's a, you're going to remember, man, I'm like, a, I, don't, I don't need to learn from losses. That's one thing that I've uh, made clear, you know what I mean? Even in a, in a good performance, even when you're winning, uh, there's still a lot you can take out of uh, them, you know? Obviously, you do learn a lot from your losses, but you learn a lot from your wins too. And, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, that, that, that I've, always, uh, I've always said, and that's just how I am. But obviously, I still, still feel that, and, you know, just losing's not an option in my mind, you know? My, you know, I refuse to lose. I've always said it, you know, uh, well before I was in the UFC, refuse to lose. So that's something that... Um, it's a, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not thinking about, oh, what it feels like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm thinking about winning and doing what I need to do. But, uh, you know, obviously the drive to not lose is, is always going to be there because I'm a competitor. Alex, back here to your left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How's it going, champ? Hey. When, Max, when Max was in here earlier, we asked what, that, what a win over you would mean to him, and he says it's a legacy fight. This is a legacy fight for him. What would a win over Max do for you? Do you feel the same way? Like this, this is a legacy fight, or do you think because you already have two wins over him, this just closes the book altogether on this, this oh, rivalry? Mate, this is still a legacy fight, 100%. You know what I mean? He showed that he's still the number one guy. People are saying he's gotten better. You know what I mean? So uh, it's, uh, this is definitely a legacy fight. That's why we wanted this fight too. Like if I felt like this wouldn't put me in a better position moving forward, well, you wouldn't take it, but it does. You all want to see it, right? Everyone wants to see the trilogy. So that's a, that's a legacy fight. People want to see it. So uh, I, 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 was, I was open to it. I, I want it as well. So if that's going to move me forward, let's do it. Do you feel like your second fight with Max doesn't get the credit it deserves because there's all, there's, there's all sorts of controversy about how it was scored and stuff that people actually forgot how great that fight actually was? Well, yeah, obviously people are going to miss the, that chess match that was happening, the adjustments he made in between the fights the adjustments i made mid fight and all that type of stuff was it's pretty incredible you know you know what i mean it's uh, very impressive but you know that that sometimes uh, will be missed when uh, you when you have close fights
And then last thing, Habib Nurmagomedov, who's about to go into the Hall of Fame, was asked about this fight. He thinks you're going to win because you have more fire than Max. And Max, when asked about that, said, well, that's because he's been watching Cooking with Volk videos and he sees the fire from the cooking show. But <laughs> what, what do you think Habib means by that? When he says that he feels like you have more fire, what do you think he means by that? Man, uh, I don't think it, it, you, you see it in... in uh in my fights you know what i told you about that that even being in that deep guillotine triangles and all that 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 shows you like there's that never die attitude never give up attitude always gonna do what i need to do and then even with 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 max you know being being down two rounds and then to turn it around and come back the last three like it's a you know that's he see he would see that he knows not only a well-rounded very skillful uh, you know durable resilient you know, all that type of stuff. And then he sees that, that fire and that never give, give up attitude. And, you know, obviously, uh, we both have that, though. Max does have that. And I guarantee he's got the fire in the belly. Man, he's down, uh, you know, he's down too. So he wants to get this belt back, you know what I mean? This, as he said, it's a legacy fight for him too. So I'll be a fool to think he's not going to turn up. Max is going to turn up, but so will I. Alex, right here in the middle. Um, the uh, Calvin Cater and Josh Emmett fight was very close. I was curious, have you had a chance to watch that? And if so, who do you think won that fight? Some people felt like it might have gone Calvin's way or should have. Oh, man, it was a close fight. Like, that's the thing. Every time there's a close fight, people are going to cry robbery. But, I mean, like, you can definitely see both sides of the, the story. You know, but that's just, uh, that's just how it is. You know what I mean? Like, especially, obviously, there was rounds that, that, that might seem more clear here and there. But then you get these some rounds that are, you know, that might be... Who got that? You know what I mean? And then uh, it's totally up to the judges there. But for someone to, you know, cry, you know, if they're going to say it's robbery or something like that, it's, you know, I, you know, I could have seen it going either way. If, if Kate had got it, I would have been fine with that. I was fine with both guys getting the fight. That's how close it was. Who do you think wins Ortega and Yair Rodriguez in a couple of weeks? That's another big fight in your division. Yeah, man, that is big. Well, look, man, I, I, I like uh, Ortega. But, I mean, obviously, I want, I want number one contender guys. You know, I think oh, I've already fought Ortega, so I don't know if it will make sense if he wins. I'm not sure. I'll have to talk to my team at UFC if he was to win that, if that still makes sense, if they'll be happy with that. But um, I haven't faced the uh, year yet, year at Riga. So if he goes out and wins, I, f I feel like that'll be a bigger fight. So, you know, again, uh, it doesn't matter who I like right now. I want these big fights. And, uh, you know, if I think, yeah, winning would, would, would be better just so it's a new guy, a new, a new, a new blood, right? Well, what about Josh Emmett, though? Because he's obviously new blood, too. Yep. W would you would you favor Yair over Josh if Yair was to win? Or Depends on the performance, too, right? Yeah. I think so. Um, I th think Yair's a ranked title. Look, Josh Emmett is incredible. He's on an incredible uh, win streak and all that. I've got enough about respect for the dude, and I know I'll be facing him uh, soon. Uh, but again, I want the big fights. I want, you know, is everyone screaming his name? I don't know. I don't know. Like, another, that's not a knock to him. That's what I was uh, trying to say. Yeah, like, uh, but... We'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, I want someone screaming that name. If not, let's look at let's look let's look at something else. Okay, and last one for me. Olberg winning uh, last week. We saw the reaction that you guys had in the crowd. How much of a boost was that for the team leading into this big fight week for City Kickboxing? Well, yeah, like uh, man, that that's uh, we've been we've been feeling that uh, in camp as well. You know what I mean? Uh, the the couple of weeks I spent at City Kickboxing was uh, was incredible we were feeling that energy uh there you know what i mean i knew once we come back here uh, you know we'll, we'll be feeling that energy all fight week and fight night and uh, you know that just added to it you know what i mean obviously we want a clean sweep you know what i mean like uh you know we're, we're all living together in a massive house playing basketball you know i mean the energy is so good we're, we're absolutely vibing off each other and um you know i think we're, we're going to really show out with uh you know full zip so that's that's what we're aiming for alex over here uh, yep. We've seen a lot of trilogy fights in the UFC, but it's usually 1-1, and there's some sort of personal issue between fighters. So with this fight, obviously, you're up 2-0, but in terms of just competitiveness and the fighting, do you think this is one of the better trilogy fights in UFC history, considering it's the one and two featherweights? And as Max said many times, you don't get many times a third fight between two guys in the top ten just pound for mm, pound. Yep. Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's right. That's exactly right. Obviously, uh, I'm well-respected. He's well respected, and to see two two guys uh, at their best at the top and facing each other, you know, people, especially for for fans of the sport, absolutely loving it, lapping it up. You know what I mean? They 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 know they're installed for for a chess match and a a great fight. So uh, yeah, I think it is pretty incredible. You know what I mean? I know it is different, like obviously me being a two and zero and things like that, but I still feel like that still adds to the story anyway. 
the fact that you know Max, yeah, was stubborn and made sure that no one took that spot and then get it gets another chance. I think that adds to the story because you know he's better now. You know what I mean? His performances, you know, all that type of stuff. So, um, you know, I think it all adds to the story and people are uh, really enjoying it and uh, yeah, can't wait to see what happens. Hey, Next, Volk, right, right back, back here. here. Where was that? Sorry. Way oh, back there you here. go. There you are. Yeah. What's up? Uh, Volk, where do you get your inspiration when you're looking for a new dish for cooking with Volk? <laughs> man, I love the, my barbecue, so I always want to do barbecue. But, uh, you man, I don't know, whatever it is, you know, I guess, uh, you know, I like mixing it up as well. I like uh, hitting different flavors and trying some new things as well um, from different countries and whatnot. So, whatever, man, like uh, whatever people want to see, I like to throw up there too. So, I usually... Uh, hit some guys up, people hit me up on uh, Instagram all the time and tell me, oh, I want a cooking show, you should do this, you should do that. And I'm, I usually am happy to do that as well because uh, I like uh, experiencing new uh, cooking adventures as well. So, uh, man, it's a, uh, I just love cooking, man. It could be anything. You know, I, even though I've cooked a steak a million times, I've probably recorded it a million times, but I'll do another, you know, a million times. So uh, it's actually good. I've uh, got a new uh, sponsor on board, Lotus with Caravan. So I can't wait to go out there and do adventures, catch my own fish, wherever I go hunt and catch my own food and cook it, you know, on the coal out there and really, really, uh, uh, you know, the YouTube channel will uh, will love that, you know what I mean? I think people will really appreciate that type of content. So I'm looking forward to, that's motivation right there. So can't wait to get out there camping and uh, cook some uh, real food out there in the wild. Is, Alex, there, is there a dish that you just haven't been able to master quite yet? A dish that I haven't tried? Um, like it just doesn't come out right when you try to make it? Comes out right for me, I guess, but I mean... Uh, I don't know. Nope. I nail it all. <laughs> and final question. Uh, Alex, if you were to move up to 155, does it have to be against Charles Oliveira? Or is there so many guys right now? Man, it has to be for, for the belt. You know, I think I, I deserve that. Obviously, you know, the, what's going to motivate me? Obviously, challenge as well or a massive fight. You know, you know, people take money fights, whatever it is. You know, the real big fights obviously would be motivated and be something I'd want to do. But... You know, I want to go for that uh, double champ status, but, you know, let's worry about Max uh, this weekend. But, um, yeah, I definitely uh, see myself uh, calling for for whoever has that belt. Alex, just just at the back here. Yep. Um, just oh, yep. going off of that, obviously you said that you want the big fights. Do you think that moving up to 155 will give you that? Oh, yeah, man, it does, definitely. There's so many uh, big names there as well. You know, there's big names in, in that division. Um, so, yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, whoever has that belt will be, be a big big fight purely just me fighting for uh, another belt's going to be massive but um yeah man there's uh, plenty of uh, good fights there and uh, i would love it and like like i say like, i want to i don't want to just uh, just move up and let that belt go like oh I, you see i want to be active i just fought a, a few months ago uh you know i and i don't know if uh, one division can keep me busy enough give me two divisions then so uh, I'll, I'll keep them both busy you know, I'll keep both belts busy, and um, again, I want to be active. And uh, if yeah, two divisions would definitely help with that. And what do you think of the landscape at lightweight at the moment? As in, yeah, man, it's a again big fights, massive fights. Uh, a lot happened, a lot of hype there. Um, so yeah, I'd love to go and take take some of that again. Not only a, a new belt, a big fight, you know, the money fight, all that type of stuff, and all that hype too. Is that more for legacy as well for you, holding two titles? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, as I say, you know, I do all this for my family and all that type of stuff, and the legacy is going to help me look after my family forever. So, let's get, let's you know, take over all these uh, goals. You know, I want to get all these goals and uh, all these achievements uh, that are going to put me in a better position tomorrow. You know what I mean? That's just how I am every time moving forward. Alex, do you think uh, Dana White would let you defend two belts at the same time? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think. Uh, he might have even already touched on that. You know what I mean? Uh, I think he uh, understand, uh, understands I'm in a position to, to at least uh, call for that. You know, obviously we've got to find the right timing and how it's going to work, but I definitely think so. Yeah, well, I think he would let me fight for the title, so I don't know why he wouldn't let me defend it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely. And Max has made a bit of talked a couple of times this week that he doesn't think it'll go further than three rounds mm -hmm. do you just see that as fight week talk or do you look into that do you see something in that as to how he might want to fight this this fight this time differently ah, man i think he probably does believe it you know what i mean like uh, whether it is uh that just uh, you're trying to hype up the fight or you know whether he believes it i don't know but you know whether it happens it's a, a totally different story but uh, you know i'm uh Again, we're both pretty durable guys. We're both tough and we both uh, know how to, 
you know, pull us pull ourselves out of a pretty shitty situation. So, um, yeah, you know, I I want I want to end it and want to end it early, and I think I definitely can. And again, I feel like that chin's got to go soon. Again, and that's no disrespect to him, but that's got to go soon. And I know I'm landing on it, and I'm going to land on it big. And many times, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, if it if it ends uh, inside the three, I, I think that's uh that's me getting the finish though. Alex, is there anything? Anything special with uh, here to your? Yep. Is it anything special? You're always focused, dedicated, devoted to your craft. Anything extra special that you get to defend the belt where you first picked it up? Anything is like a like special? You got the crown here in Vegas. Yep. So Now you defend it here in Vegas. Kind of like a homecoming to where your legacy started as a champion. Yeah, man. Look, man. Like just each fight's a massive fight. The, your your latest fight's always your biggest fight. You know, this is a huge fight, huge card, international fight week. You know what I mean? It's uh, this is massive. So uh, it's uh, I'm loving loving every every bit of it. I'm loving the fact that um, Max hasn't versed uh, Bald Volk yet either. So uh, I'm looking forward to see seeing that. You know, this is uh, Bald Volk again. It's coming for fucking everybody. Thank you, sir. Good luck on Saturday.